Hello everyone and welcome to an autumn winter come shop with me. I love making these videos but it's very early in September and I'm actually down in Brighton so doing things a little bit differently. I thought I would take you along shopping with me. I'm gonna go and explore what's new on the high street. We're gonna go into some of my favorite shops including Primark, H&M, if I can find a next. Just gonna show you what things are coming in, what trends I'm seeing, what stuff I like, and just like take you shopping with me basically. And then when we get back, I will film a haul. So let's go shopping, I'm excited. All right, let's start with Primark then. Let's go on in. So at the very front, they have lots of nice bits already. I really want a new pair of jeans actually, but I feel like, I'm not sure if I'm in the mood for trying on jeans, but they look nice. And they already have some knitwear. I actually really love the Primark jumpers like this. They're really nice material. We've got quite a lot of like neutrals, beige, browns, jeans and boots. Um, oh, we have Pri um, Disney over there. Oh, it's actually quite good. There's actually quite a few bits. What's this? This is nice. Cute. I would love more skirts like this, but I don't like them when they're tight fitted. I want more like flowy ones like this and I love these sort of shirts that you can throw on with like jeans and a white tank top. I don't have my size unfortunately but I would definitely try that on if they did. I like these jumpers although that is quite cropped. Colorado. That's quite cute. I like that. Do they have a bigger size? Hmm I'd want an extra large really. Oh is that an extra large? Yeah I always go up in stuff like this especially if it's cropped like that. That's kind of cute. We'll see what that looks like. I like this outfit. Jeans and that jumper. Yeah, definitely checks are in again. These ones are quite long, these shirts. I don't want one that's that long. I want one where I can wear with jeans. You know I have to check out the Disney stuff. I'm actually going to Walt Disney World in December. So I'm always looking out for cute pieces I can take with me. I don't know where it is, but I definitely have this jacket and I absolutely love it. It goes with so many things and it's a perfect transitional piece. And I will say that they always sell out of sizes like already there's only like smaller sizes so keep an eye out for this one because it's great we've got some more shirts here i definitely want one of these i like this green and i quite like this oh we all love a big chunky primark scarf don't we i think primark do the best ones if you're looking for affordable scarves six pound they're so soft and they're really big i like that one Oh, they've got boots in and they have wide fit extra comfort ones, which is good for someone like me. Quite like those. They have these longer boots that kind of look a little bit like wellies, I'm not going to lie, especially the left ones. And then they have some lace up ones here. But I think the rest is all very much still a bit summery. Although these heels are great, by the way. I love Primark high heels. I've moved over to the pajamas. Just having a quick look at any wintry ones. You have some really soft ones. Look at these. Disney ones, we like the Disney pajamas. Okay, ignore this tucked into my skirt, but I really quite liked this shirt. Uh, I thought it would look quite nice with some jeans. So yeah, this was the first thing I tried on. And then I also tried on this jumper, but I just wasn't feeling it and I wasn't sure on the collar with the fabric. It just didn't quite look right, but it is cute. All right, next up, we're gonna pop into H&M. Haven't uh, shopped in there for a little while, so let's see. Alrighty, there's a few things isn't there? Definitely changing over. Uh, lots of black and white at the front here. Oh that's pretty. Sparkly top. These kind of things are so handy for like, you know, going out for meals with friends and stuff. Chunky knit jumpers. This is like a cropped chunky knit. I quite like that actually. They're all cropped, is that the thing? Are we all cropped now into winter as well? Everything's nice in here. I haven't been here in ages got some really lovely bits. I feel like that would look so cute with like a nice shirt, like a knitted skirt. I don't think it would look good on me, but like you can see the vision, can't you, with some boots. I like this jacket. It's like one of those shirt jacket things, jackets, aren't they? That's quite nice. Would I wear that? Don't know. I'm gonna try it on anyway. I don't know if it's just H&M or if it's like a trend, but there's lots of like preppy American University esque clothing um, but I'm here for all these colours because I love these blues and greens not that I would wear any of these things but I do want like a check skirt kind of like this but much bigger I've just stumbled into Disney zone I love those shorts and that and that and these things up here oh my gosh adorable they've got puffer jackets but when I say like 
you know, gilets. They're like very thick and big and oversized. I'm not sure that'll look good on me if I'm honest. Oh, I like that shirt. Some of them are like thinner and some of them are more like jackets. I do want some nice black jeans. Loose mum fit, high waist ankle length. Oh my gosh, do I want to try jeans on today? I'm not sure. This is similar to the Primark one. So it's obviously kind of a trend, I guess. But they've got loads more stuff in here than in Primark. This blazer's got a massive B on it. That would just look like I sewed that on there, wouldn't it? Seeing as my name is Brogan. <laughs> I do quite like it though. I look like I'm wearing a neck brace. Um, I tried to roll it down and that didn't quite work either. Oh, it's just, I'm so hot. Is, no. Something I most definitely do not need is more Disney jumpers. And yet all I want to do is live in things like this for the winter <laughs> i love it i just don't need it but it's so nice um need i say any more <laughs> this is not the vibe i had in mind <laughs> i'm not gonna lie haven't had as much success to be honest i do really like this little zip up it's very fluffy and cozy but i just don't really need it to be honest um but it's quite nice i'm very much drawn to this style and yeah they had some nice like disney stuff but no just n just none of this today no and i'm really hot and i want to move on <laughs> i bought one thing in h&m this massive clip that i'm gonna use to tie up my hair because i'm too hot to carry on shopping with my hair down around my back of my neck so yeah bought this massive clip for fiver i'll use it loads oh i like these bags we don't need bags we need to walk away although i do actually need to pick up something better than this because i've ripped it <sighs> honestly right need to do a plan of action where i'm going next my hair is up in my grip i'm gonna try and find zara and next next because uh they're my favourites, so let's go and have a look. I might be wrong because I've never been here, but I think they're in Churchill Square. I don't know if this is the best Zara, but they have one here in this shopping centre, so we're going to pop in. Straight away, more American University clothes. You know what I mean? They're nice trainers. I like them. Uh, right, Zara is unbelievably hit and miss for me. So I can normally tell instantly, and I don't think it's going to be a success because... It all looks very summery, to be honest. All right, this side is a bit better. Zara do really great dresses for me in autumn winter. Like, look at that. I like that. Green is my color. I thought this was gonna be a little black dress, and it's not. It's a play suit. And as much as I love play suits, don't know when I'd wear this. No. I couldn't show you anything I tried on because it all looked so bad. So bad. I am not feeling great today. But that's just how it is sometimes. I'm <sighs> really hot. I wanna move on. I wanna go to Next and River Island because I'm much more successful there. All right, we're heading over to Next over there, next to Victoria's Secret. They got a Zara home over there. I feel like I need a little pick-me-up, like a little sugar fix, some sort of smoothie or a cookie or something. We'll keep an eye out. Um, oh, River Island's down there too, good. Okay, we're hitting all the ones we like. <laughs> I would say next is where I'm most successful, although this looks like a really small one, so we'll just have a quick browse. Oh, that's a very me dress, isn't it? I have something very similar to that. I love a midi dress. They don't have an awful lot in this. It's a very small next, but I have a couple of things. Oh, I have three things actually, and they have loads of really great jeans, and I really do want to try some on, but I don't know if I like have the mental energy for it today guys i think i might need to order some online and do it in the comfort of my own home because yeah taking off my um my chub rub shorts underneath this skirt and trying to get into a pair of jeans doesn't sound like my idea of a fun day so i think we'll keep going <laughs> this is a no-go this gap here is so annoying and i don't like the way it sort of sits here this drop thing doesn't look good okay this is much more me it's very comfortable i just wish it was more i don't know it, it's it feels quite flat across my chest if that makes sense like i want to pull it down but then like it doesn't quite sit right and it's quite long like i kind of wanted it a bit shorter okay so this one sits definitely a lot better around my chest um and it feels really comfy i just don't know if i like 
this design. So I FaceTimed my mum because I couldn't work out what the problem was. The shape of the dress ticked all the boxes for me and I kept pulling it to the side as I was like showing her and she was like, you've got the wrong size on. So I went back, this is the 14, which I'm not a 14, so I just want to reiterate that sizing is just like in clothing stores, it, you can just vary. I, I can be an 18, I can be a 14. I'm normally a 16 so it just goes to show like whatever but anyway this is the 14 and I think it looks really cute I think it looks nice with trainers like for now um, and I feel like I could get away with wearing it with like tights and boots and a jacket leather jacket could look cute so I think I'm gonna get this this is a good buy I told you next doesn't let me down even in this tiny little store with hardly any stock I found a dress ah, I feel good now I found something I like it's a really great piece too so I'm gonna whip into River Island because I do like it in there. And they've got a really nice sign that says Brighton at the end here. Let me show you. Look at that. In all the lights. It looks so good. Here we go. River Island. What have they got in here? Immediately, no. Oh, I like a midi skirt. That's what I'm wearing today. I like a pleated midi skirt to be precise, but. Oh no, it's trousers. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I don't think there's anything I want to try on in this one today. Nothing's quite floating my boat, so I think we'll just move on. But I normally love River Island, so I'll have a look on their website, I think. So Hollister's not somewhere I'm usually very successful in, but I do quite like them, so let's have a little look. More of these American jumpers, Colorado. Um, oh, that's a nice puffer vest they're calling. Like that. It's a bit too difficult to vlog in here because I'm gonna get copyrighted for this music. It's very loud. Um, can't see anything I like, I don't think. Not today. I wasn't gonna go in here, but I do love New Look. I've been buying a lot of their smock dresses recently. So I thought we could have a look, cause, oh, hang on. What's that? No, I don't want it tight. Um, yeah, they've got some nice pieces in here. So let's just see. It's a lot of leftover summer stuff, I think. Okay, new in is over this side. And again, there's lots of this like bright blue and green I'm seeing. Oh, that's a lovely midi skirt. It's quite neon though. It's very neon. I really love the apricot brand that they have in New Look, this brand. And they have got so many dresses that are very me. So we're gonna try these on. This one is just too short. No, this is, no. I like this colour on me, but I don't like the neck. Mm, no. This skirt had potential, but I hate this thing. Like, just highlighting my stomach. Like, this is just... Why? Why can't these pleats start up here and go the way down? Okay, this is a t-shirt and I can't decide if I love it or hate it. Like, I think it's a really nice little easy tuck it into a skirt kind of top, but I don't know if this buckle, this like big zip thing, um, is annoying me. That's obviously the feature and the zip goes all the way up to the top, but it's a bit nothing, isn't it? Is it a bit nothing or is it handy? No, it's not for me. Oh, there's a really cute little Japanese shop in here. Oh my gosh, let's have a look. I absolutely love these shops. I found one in Mallorca and they just have the cutest little bits. So let's have a little look. Oh, they have a couple of cute Disney bits. I love it all. <laughs> Why do I love all the toys? Look at this camel <laughs> and the little plant pots. Like, look at this. So sweet. And this one, I don't know where I'd put it, but I love them. They've got some pet bits. Don't know if there's anything I can get the dogs. Um, but they also have loads of great like storage things. There's loads of it down the other end as well. And then I found more Disney. Oh my gosh. Sorry. This is so exciting. <laughs> this is a bit of me. I love it all. Oh my gosh, how cute. Oh, that is just adorable. Love it. See what I mean? They have so many storage things. Oh my gosh, so good. So I'm pretty shocked out, but there is a shop I want to go to called Sugar Hill Boutique. Um, they're in Brighton, obviously, and I've ordered from them before. I've had some of their clothes before in my Stitch Fix box. So I thought I'd actually go and visit them in person, seeing as I'm here. 
it's about a 10 minute walk from the shopping centre. I nearly didn't see it then, but this is the little boutique I wanted to go into. I don't know if uh, it would be awkward filming in there. Okay, so there wasn't anything that I quite liked in the boutique. I thought they might have some lovely like autumn dresses, but it was all very summery. I did try on a couple anyway, just in case they were good for future trips and next summer and whatnot, but they, neither of them were quite right. So that's a bit of a shame because um, I do like their clothes. I wanted to pick up an iced coffee or something, but Oh, I don't know. I'm tired. I want to go back home and show you the bits I bought. <laughs> it's the next day. Came back exhausted. I did 12,000 steps in the end, so it was quite a lot of walking. When I edited the first bit you've seen, it looks like I was only shopping for a little while, but it was actually hours and hours and hours, and I actually really enjoyed having an afternoon to myself where I just spent hours mooching. Granted, I do think I'm still a little bit early for autumn winter stuff, but at least you've got an idea of what's in, and I really liked bringing you along with me, so please do let me know if you you liked this and subscribe so you don't miss more but I thought I'd show you just the odd little bits and bobs I picked up nothing too exciting obviously the first thing is this dress that I got in next it was 34 pounds if I can find the link I will and I am tempted to buy it in the lighter version as well they didn't have my size in the lighter one I don't know if it's going out whether it's like a summery item but I love it it's so comfortable it's a little bit thicker than some of my new look smock dresses so yeah I can definitely wear it with tights and boots and a leather jacket like I said so I'm really really happy with this purchase so this was the first thing um then we move on to Primark although I've got the next bag because my Primark bag ripped didn't it um so the first thing I got was the scarf I showed you they had so many good ones they're so soft and they are just so perfect I love when it's scarf season, when you can wrap yourself up in a lovely big scarf. So yeah, this was six pounds and I loved all the tones in this, the blues, brown, beige, green, like it's just really nice. It'll go with so many of my outfits. Uh, so yeah, got this nice little fluffy scarf. Let me know if you always pick up a new scarf in uh, Primark. I probably have way too many now, but um, I'm really love, I really love that one. <laughs> then I got this shirt that I tried on that you would have seen. This was only seven pounds. So I thought this was quite good just to see, like test it as it's not my usual style. I got it in an 18, so I sized up and I liked that it was three quarter sleeves and they're already like rolled up. So it's really comfortable, perfect transition piece for this sort of weird weather. I just think it will look really nice with a white top underneath and some jeans all like buttoned up, tucked into some high-waisted jeans and some trainers. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this. Primark had quite a few different ones so if you are looking um, then yeah H&M Primark seem to be the best place for those sort of shirts. And then I know I said that Primark have really good heels. I started looking because I'm going to the Blogosphere Awards in about three weeks time and I thought these would be absolutely perfect. I showed my mum on FaceTime and uh, she agreed. They're a classic kind of high heel you know. Little heel so perfect for those that don't like wearing too high heels and they have a little back so they're really comfortable I honestly think Primark heels are just the best. This colour will go with everything. So yeah, £13. <laughs> what a bargain. So I'm really chuffed with those. Such a good find. So don't miss checking their shoes because yeah, I have quite a few different types of pairs from there and I love them. And then last but not least, this is not clothing related, but I thought I'd show you anyway. I popped into that lovely little Japanese shop, Mini So. Mini So. They have a website as well, by the way. Uh, we don't have one of these in Bournemouth and I loved browsing in there. I actually think I've been to the exact one they have in Mallorca. The first things I got were these little folders. So I picked up this one. They look quite boring, but they're absolutely perfect for any kind of trips, travels. If you have a label maker, I've actually got a Cricut machine. So I'm actually planning on like making this into a Walt Disney World folder. So as you can see, it's just like one of those expandable ones that you can add your labels on. And this is perfect. I'm not gonna make a big Disney binder for our trip in December, but I do have things that I wanna print out like our Esters and like booking confirmations. And yeah, this is perfect little travel document folder. But then I saw this one. This is their memo book with folder. It's called a jacket cover memo book. You pull off the little string and inside it looks like a normal notebook. It's actually got a little sleeve on the first page. So half the book is the lined paper pad and then the back half are different divider pocket things. So you can obviously put paperwork in them. I thought this would be good for adding like 
dollar bills or like i don't know anything we might need so maybe this could be good for disney i could even write out our schedule or our bucket list or tips or whatnot so this also could be a good option let me know which one you think i should use and i'll decorate them as well and show you in a vlog at some point point. and then speaking of disney i couldn't help myself and i had to pick up something disney in there they had so many cute bits but i saw this key ring i actually thought this could be nice on a rock sack or like a disney bag i have it was seven pound i think and it's this adorable Minnie Mouse and she's actually quite big but look at her it says Minnie Mouse on the little tag and there's a little bow you can clip it or obviously keychain it but yeah she's just so sweet I love her could even look good on my little coach bag actually um but I had to get that I had to get a nod to Disney I got some nice bits but I think I may go to Primark again when I'm back in Bournemouth in a couple of weeks time just to see what other new stock they have coming in for autumn winter because they didn't have many like autumn dresses that I was looking for so let me know if you're interested and we can do another like Primark shot with me specifically because they have some really great stuff usually it was just a little bit um patchy as i'm so early but if you enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up and thanks for coming with me shopping and i will see you again in my next vlogs bye